Welcome back, travel to this other heavy game. We are back playing a little Project Ozone 2. And for those of you guys who have been following, you know what day it is. It's time for me to find and finish my alpha. It has been so long. Not even taking into consideration the long break I took. But just in general, it's been so long. And so I set this up to be ready to go as soon as we go. So we had taken our carbon. We had made all the parts we needed. Got a couple extra heavy duty plates. And we are just going to get, wait, it's on the other side. We are just heading straight there. There's, we are not delaying. We are jumping right in and going. So let's come over here. Oh, I did make the new launch pad apparently. And I'm kind of glad I figured this out. I was over here. Um, like, you know, I was trying to make a new plate to put it over here. And so I picked this one up and then came over and then I happened to just notice this other launch pad. And fortunately I realized that for levels or tier four and tier five, I think it was tier four and tier five. You need the tier two launch pad. And so fortunately I made that. So it's a little bit bigger and fun and blah. All right. What am I missing? Oh, there we go. We've got our tier four rocket. How big is this thing? I want to see this over my head. I always, I, oh, that just looks cool. Okay. Uh, I, I always like, you know, see it once I set it down, but I never see it when it's, I'm carrying it over my head. Oh my goodness. Look at this bad mamma jam. This one doesn't even have a window to look out of. Well, I've got everything else set up. Look, I got, I was prepped and ready. I've already got my bound charm for here, charm for there, got my pedestal, got two backup takes of oxygen and a liquid O2 canister that I did. And so we're just gonna go. Oh my God, I am so excited. I almost like don't even care about going after the dungeon right now. I really just wanna kind of focus on, first of all, I always switch my F5 mode. Uh, just getting the mercury ingot and, get, and getting going because there's a couple of stuff I want to do in today's episode. This looks like a dangerous place to land. Like this just doesn't look nearly as safe as everything else. But I guess, what is that? Is that, hold on. Oh, it's bedrock. It's all the way down to bedrock. Oh, that's kind of crazy. That is, I've never seen that. I've never seen any of the worlds all the way down to bedrock. Now I'm just waiting for my chest so I can grab my rocket. And I think this is actually, I don't see any mobs here. So instead of hiding it today, I'm actually just going to put it right here. Um, it looks safe. So that's bound there. Like so. And put it on there. You know what? I'm not doing that. I just, on the off chance, I accidentally double click. <laughs> just on the off chance. I'm, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this first. So put you on there. Good. And then let's go ahead and buy. Oh, I could have just done this first and bound this one. Um like so oh not the rocket there we go all right cool so that is bound that is good to go i'm going to put this away just for a second because we're not really in a major hurry and i want to go find my mercury ingots oh is that another blaze is this this place have blazes too kind of used them a little while ago to get some yep it's just another evolved blaze hey don't do that to me is that iron okay let us find some mercury ingots is that it is that it mercury copper ore no that's not it okay so i was prepped and ready for this i did remember to bring my uh my dev nulls so we did do that so let us set our dev null hey there you go and come on throw all that out come on Why, why aren't you working right now? Come on, you go there. Is it just because the dev nulls in my hand? I don't know. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is. There we go. That's what I wanted to happen. Um, I don't have any food. Oh, is that the mercury right there? <gasps> mercury tin, iron, copper. What's this? Is that the mercury right there? Mercury tin, mercury copper. Oh, please don't tell me this is like hard to find. Mercury iron. I was so excited. Um, well, let me go get some food because vein mining and all that stuff, it's going to, you know, make me hungry. And I'm going to go get some food first before we do this. Uh, let's see. Look, I've already got it set up right there. Let me grab you. Pop you out and put you in place perfect 
There we go, and let's go grab some food. I think I should have some bacon or some French toast in here uh, if I haven't eaten it all. Bacon, I have not made any. Let's make some. Do I have enough? I don't, what am I missing? Um, green, I think it's cactus green I'm missing. I did this the other day. Nope, I got plenty of that. Um, magenta? Magenta's the one I'm missing, okay. Uh, let's make you real quick. Uh, there we go. So we'll just make a couple of you. And now I should be able to make some bacon. I'm really getting annoyed by getting damage right now. Um, there we go. Make some of you up. There we go. Three bacon. I need more than that. So which else? What other one was I short on? Orange? Orange is the one I'm short on. Okay. So let us make some of that up. I should... Let's just make stacks. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. Although I should have plenty of that essence. So um, yellow. I've got plenty. Um, blue. I don't have any blue either. Or do I have lapis? Oh, I got tons of lapis. Okay, cool. Um, what other we need? What other ones do I need? Man, I was so ready. And then, of course, there's just something. Okay, there's nine. Okay, that's 12. That should be enough. At least to go find this mercury ingot. All right. Uh, back up here. And where you at? Yeah, there you are. Oh, I never put you on your pedestal. There we go. Like so. Here we go. And now we're going to go find our mercury ingots. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. This literally just took so freaking long. Um, maybe a higher elevation? I don't know. I don't know if they're at certain elevations or not. But I, I figure, you know, I've never had this problem before. So I guess we'll see. I might start kind of going up as I do this, just in case elevation is an issue because oh mercury ore ha 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 okay cool good that's actually more than enough but let's get as much as we can mercury 10 is that mercury ore yes it is yes mercury 10 it's like a white one like is that it no is that it no it's like lighter colored there it is it's so close to the tin color, I can't really tell the difference, but that should be more than enough. I've got 12 of them. That is good enough for governmental work. We are heading back right now. Oh my gosh, there's like creepers over there. Maybe maybe that's not the best place to put my spawn. Apparently, the mobs come out eventually. But we've got the mercury ingot. We can finally make my furnace and finish alpha. Oh my I'm so excited right now. Let us do this. Um, do I have anything cooking at the moment? I don't. What was I cooking last? Oh, yeah, the carbon ingots. Okay, yeah, as you can see, I've got a lot of iron going on, too. Yeah, I was just making ingot casts because I was doubling them up. So let those go ahead and cook up. Start spitting out over here. Oh, we're going to finally have it. We're going to finally have it. Now, in the meantime, I did make a couple of the other items that we were going to need. Um, little simple things. Nothing, nothing really new, big, or different. And let's see it. Let's see it. We are finally going to make it. The extreme furnace. I made the coils, which are just super simple, just four tungsten. Uh, the energetic alloy gears I made. And then oh, we're going to have the blade rod. So we've got it. We have it. Oh, we've got our extreme furnace. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. I'm really curious as to how fast this thing really is. Uh, I... I don't know if it's going to be insanely fast, but I'm down to find out right now. Give me some sand. We'll just make up some glass real quick. Oh, how fast is this bad boy? What? Does that heating coil not have power? I mean, I had... Yeah, I used this furnace over here, didn't I? Oh, I didn't. Okay. <coughs> Man, there's always something. That's always something I forget. Conduit. Let me grab some energy conduit. No, that's item conduit. Uh, energy conduit. Yeah, I got plenty of that. And let's just pipe over some power. Poop. Poop. 
Oh, look at it go. It's heating up. It's going. Not. Okay. I mean, it's cool. Don't get me wrong. It's cool. But that is nowhere near as fast as my. Um, oh, what do you call it? My redstone furnace right now. Let me let me do two more tests just to kind of compare speeds. So I've got where did I put you? There you are. So you're over here. How fast are you? Definitely, definitely not it. What about my redstone furnace? Let's see. Yeah, that's like instantaneous. So, I mean, those furnaces are cool, I guess, but it's definitely not matching my, my redstone furnace. So, oh, well, we, we've got it done. I'm so happy to click on this right now. Oh my gosh, we've got it. Loot chest. Oh, it's complete. And let's just claim this real quick. Um... Oh, it's like one you can do over and over again. I'm not doing that one over again. Alpha's complete. Alpha is finally complete. I am so excited about that. So now I'm definitely thinking it's time to move on to beta. I'm looking at making the ultimate furnace right there. And this guy is going to take a minute. So that's going to actually lead us to what we plan on doing for the rest of today's episode. All right. So what I wanted to do was get going a little bit more on Batania and get set up for for the Gaia battle. So I've done some things ahead of time. Fleeting stone gives high steps. Oh, it's a companion. Well, I'm not worried about that right now. Okay, cool. And don't need the glass. Uh, Mercury I'll keep on me because I'm going to go get more of those ingots for the next level anyways. But today, so, 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 so here we go. So um, to make the ultimate, I'll just check that one out real quick. The ultimate furnace, which is like right here, you need uh, Tempranillo, or Temporio, I guess it's called. And to make Temporio, we need the Master Infusion Stone. Now, this is kind of where we're at right now. Now, Massive Eco Block, I can do. Uh, Mana Steel, I've already got enough. Uh, Terra Steel, easy peasy. Uh, block of Elementium, I just basically need two blocks of that. Uh, the mana diamonds we can do. Uh, Dragonstone is just more mana diamonds, so it's the same thing. But it's this compressed Gaia that I need. I need. Uh, nine ingots of this, which means I need nine more Terra Steel, and then I'm going to need 36 of this Gaia Spirit, which means it's time to take on the Gaia Guardian. So I did a little prep for this. Not a lot, just a little bit of prep. I added a little sharpness on my uh, crossbow, but it didn't really do much, and I can't really tell what my damage is uh, when swinging this guy. Uh, so I'm not 100% sure, but I did make this guy over here. It's just a pure sharpness sword. And it's uh, attack damage is 23 hearts versus this guy, which, you know, kills pretty, pretty quickly. And that one's only nine hearts. So 23 hearts swing, not too bad. I think that should be able to do some decent damage on the Gaia Guardian. But we need to get my book out because I forget how to set up the Gaia uh, ritual. So if I'm on this page, I believe I just type, right? No, wait, which page do I got to go to? The index. Type to search. There we go. Gaia. Gaia Guardian um, oh I never did throw the book through the portal it's not updated yet let me grab my wand real quick and turn you on there we go gotta update you man gotta update you you're good to go thank you now I should have Gaia if I can remember to spell. where is the Gaia Guardian, where is it at? Um, function generation. I know it's in here somewhere. I know it's in here somewhere. Um, like rituals and stuff like that. Miscellaneous. There usually is like the little thing where you can set it and it shows you how to set everything up. And that's what I want to do right now. Portal to Alpha. You know, I'm going to look that up in a minute, but <clears throat> there is one other thing I want to do. Um, and it's with the cobblestone generation. I had kind of mentioned it last episode, um, but I didn't really get to it because I was just kind of running out of time. And I was so excited. So, so very excited to get where I had gotten that I kind of forgot to do it. So we're going to kind of double tap here. So right now we're going to go and make our cobblestone generator and see how much faster this really is. 
Okay, so this guy right here. Now this thing, super simple to make. I've got plenty of that. I'm gonna make, we'll say eight of these just to start. Eight, yes, just like that. And then we need to make, I'm gonna make this one just because it seems like it's the most complete. Um, because this one, I feel like stuff's missing from it. I just, I, I, that's how I feel. This one, oh, because this one has tanks already. That's why you only need that. Oh, that makes more sense. Okay, so we need to make four of these. Um, oh, that's right. I was making, see, I was prepped for this episode. I was prepped and ready. Believe it or not. See, I had made the quite clear glass because I didn't have enough to make it. I was prepped and ready. So bink and bink and bink and you go in there and we're making, come on, get in the system, get in the system. Come on. There we go. One, two, three, four. Good. Got you. Oh, wait, we need eight of these. So I'm going to need more quite clear glass. <laughs> let me, let me go so, grab some more sand real quick. Uh, at least we'll get a couple made just to test them out. But I believe I'm going to be able to make a ton, 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 ton of cobble. Uh, let me grab two more stacks of sand. There we go. Um, I, I just, the way it was running for me, it just seemed like it was going to be a lot more efficient. And so, yeah. So let's go ahead. I can't make any more of those. So let's go back to the cobblestone generator guy. Boop. This guy right here. And make you. Ooh, this is a little more intricate. I haven't made one of these yet. Um, I th probably should have a machine frame. No. Hey, get back here. Okay, so you. Do I have any redstone repeaters? I don't have any redstone torches. Um, let's make a bunch of you up. Really? That's all you got for me? That's the only stick I have left? What did I spend sticks on? Ah, my goodness. Okay. We can do this. That's so random. It does that. Okay. There's 64 sticks. All right. Now, redstone torches. Uh, you make a whole bunch. There we go. 64 of those. Now, let's make some repeaters. We need two of those. One, two, just for right now, just for right now. We're gonna be making more. And what else did I need? Um, let's see, what was the other parts? Uh, some of the redstone wire, I think I already have. Uh, machine frame, I don't know if I already have, but I got the cobble. Let's just make a couple, just to make sure. And machine frame, I do have it. Okay, cool, so we can definitely make this. Um, And there it is right there. And you, and you, and thank you. And now this guy right there. Okay, so this guy seems kind of cool to me. Um, that's just one, once we have more glasses, I think that will be able to make more. But we are gonna go ahead and grab um, some item duct. Get right there. And do I have any more of those ender chests? I don't have any more ender chests. But I can make one. Super simple. There we go. One, two. So we just make them really quick. And then I'm going to need some ink sacks just to put them on the right channel. Okay, cool. So we're going to go like a so down to the farm. Not the farm, but. Well, yeah, I guess it is the farm, but there's cobble stuff still going over there, too. Now, let's see how fast the chest fills up when I put this guy down. So, I think this guy's going to need power. I think. So, for right now, my magnet's on. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm just going to put you right here. Like so. All right, yeah. So, it's already made the cobble. Like, it makes it super, super fast. And... I'm going to go ahead and put you right there and this chest. Uh, let me change these to black before I put them on. I don't want them going into my, into my satchel. Um, put you guys there, ink like that, you and you, good. Now I'll pick you guys back up. Where'd the other one go? Anybody notice that the chest just disappeared on me? Oh, that's so annoying. Okay. 
but we're just gonna put you right oh there now once I put the uh, interaction upgrade it should be a bit faster but that seems to be pulling out every couple seconds speed upgrades do I still have that chest I had a whole bunch of speed upgrades let's do that let me go get those real quick because I know I had some more speed upgrades after I was done with all of those crazy freaking uh, cobblestone things last time. Yes, I knew I had a bunch. I think there's six I can put in there, which is, well, it looks like I've got like four and a half stacks. I mean, we can always put more on it, but let's see. This might just be fast enough as it is, so. All right, so how fast? See, it's adding a ton in. Wait, aren't they the same channel? Oh no, it's gray. It's gray. And I really want to know where that other ender chest went, but it's, is it dark gray? Is that the channel I put? Not black, but dark gray. Yeah, cause that's definitely black. That's full, but it fills that chest up pretty quickly. Uh, I thought it might've been a little bit faster than that. Maybe I'll try, try another method too. We'll try to do uh, some speed upgrades, item conduit speed upgrades. I think I can do 15, so one, two, three. <coughs> and speed upgrade, what's the difference? Item conduit speed upgrade, item speed upgrade. I mean, correct me, not the same, I, I don't know. Um, but let's get some conduit, and item conduit, like that. Let me just take that stack. Good grief. Okay. And dark gray dye. Um, what was it used? Floral gray powder. No, what did I use? I'm pretty sure that's what I did. Dark gray. Or I mean black. Why is it on a different channel? Can I right click the chest on it? I can't. I know, I'm sorry guys, I hate to waste time like this, but I'm pretty sure, pretty darn sure. I know with the satchel you can just right click and switch the channel, but I thought I could have sworn I had put, um, uh, what's it called on it, black, but doesn't seem to be the case. Okay, now y'all heard a ding, like it's in my inventory, right? Oh, did it jump in here? No? Where did that stupid chest go? There they are right there. Okay. I don't know what's sucking that up, but that makes me feel better. Okay. And now can you just shift right click onto a chest and it sets it to that color? Is that what you do? And then I can knock this guy off. Then I get most of them. Some of them. The rest are probably going in here. Or in the chest. Yeah, there they all are. Oh, yeah, I was testing this out earlier. Um, I forgot I had that one in there. Ah, see what happens when stuff just disappears? Okay. So, we're going to put you here. Okay. Right? And we're going to put you right here. Nope, it's still black. Still black. What in the world? Okay, but let's see how fast this goes. So, this is going to be insert... No, not disable. Man. Okay. Did anybody just see my cow slip through the floor multiple times? All right. And this is going to be speed on and go. I should be able to do a stack at a time. But it's already full. So. It's gray. It's just regular gray. Okay. Let me go make two grays real quick. I'm sorry, guys. I really had this all planned out. Like you guys saw, I was up and ready to go. And just sometimes, sometimes it just doesn't work out. Uh, gray dye. There it is. Okay. So good thing I've got all that stuff. I just really quick. And bingo. Cool. And then what I'm going to do is right after getting this, I am going to set up the Gaia uh, battle and get that done. So I can start making some of that. So you, 
and you. All right, so I mean, it's it's making quite a bit. I'm trying to see if it gets a little little bit further. I don't know if they're any faster, but I can put like four chests on this thing, and just keep pulling from it. I wonder. Oh, speed upgrade. Oh, that's what those item speed upgrades are for. Oh, I can speed that thing up super fast. Let's see how many I can make. Let's see how crazy we can make this. Not eed. Speed upgrade. Item conduit. Speed upgrade. Let me see how many more I can make. Speed upgrade. How many can I make? I can make 14. Okay, cool. That was item conduit speed upgrade. That's not the one I want. Darn it. Get back in there. <laughs> speed upgrade. Where is the speed upgrade? What is this thing called? Item speed. Let's just... There it is. Oh, no. The enriched alloy. Oh, I think I should have a ton of that. Osmium. I think I think we can do this. Ah, 10. Okay, cool. 8 and 8. Okay, I wonder if 8 is the max I can put since it's obviously an 8 stack. Let's see if this gets any faster. Because those things can... Those pipes can only work a stack at a time. So I'm not 100% sure. Oh, no, you know what? Oh, man, I'm just not thinking right now. It's the freaking capacitor. That's what I need. I need an octetic capacitor to make it faster. Uh, my brain is just not functioning on Minecraft mode right now. Uh, let me just get rid of this stuff real quick. <clears throat> I don't need any more of you. Uh, capacitor. Yes, that's double layer. Uh, one, two, three, four. I think it's four of those. I can't remember how to make the octetic capacitor. Um, enriched and emerald chipset or vibrant and vibrant <clears throat> and chipset. I happen to have one from when I was getting all those accomplishments done. All right, this is it. This is it. This is going to be the one. This should be getting really, really fast. Like a so. So a little bit quicker. Oh, yeah. See, it's putting more in now. That is definitely more than it was a second ago. Like, it's not even filtering it all out while it's added more. So that is going to be beneficial. Let me... Let's see how fast it is if I do this. Um, let me take, like, a couple off the top here. Apparently, you just went into the system again. Okay. All right. Hopefully, the lava didn't eat that one. Are you in the chest? Yeah, there you guys are. Okay, cool. Let us see if this is, like, even faster. Let's see. Oh, you know what? That other chest isn't even connected. Hey, disconnect you. Disable. I need to put my wrench on that and fix that real quick. All right, so you guys are, no, you guys are supposed to be in. So you're insert, you're on insert. Now is that <laughs> filling faster or no? I don't know if it is or not. I can't, I can't quite tell if it's faster or not. Um, I just want pipes. There we go. Well, that's everything, but. Um, there we go. And now I'll change that to insert. And I can't tell if it's faster or not. But let us see. Is it seeming to get more in here? I don't, I can't quite tell. We'll see. I mean, if all else fails, it, that's not bad. It's super fast. It's not as big, nearly as big as this. Um... I can, oh, I've got the other one right here. I can put this guy, like, right, well, I can put it right here, right? And that's going to pipe into those two. So let's put you right here. You're full up on speed and stuff like that, so that should work. Let me put another one of you in there. And are you guys going? Um, 
Um, oh, because Cobble's trying to go in this. That's not really what I want. Uh, <laughs> man. Okay. Let's disconnect you. All right. And I just want you over here, you know, unaffected by any one of the other. You're in this chest, room, aren't you? Yes, you are. Okay. Like so. So now you're just going over there. Oh, but the item duct is... Jeez, my brain is not functioning. Um, let me do it this way. I, I, I know my brain can work. It can work. Didn't think I'm just trying to pipe into it. Okay, grab all that and that. And we'll put this chest... I wonder if it's the world interaction upgrade that caused it to happen. I don't know. Um, are you pulling? Oh, you're getting cobble from that. That's not how I want you. So. Oh, nothing wants to function properly. There we go. Get you guys out of there. Okay, and you. All right, now that we've got this set up correctly with all speed upgrades, right? Okay. And let's put this chest on top, like so. I don't, it, oh, that is faster. It's gotta be. It has to be. I'm not sure. I'll figure it out, I'm gonna play with it. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to set up the Gaia, uh, the Gaia battle. And if there's any major crafting and stuff for the pylons, I will be right back. But yeah, that's what we're gonna go do right now. Be right back. All right, travelers. So, well, a couple things. Um, we're we're not gonna be able to do Gaia today. It's okay. I'm okay with that. We're we're. I, I keep going the wrong way. Um, I did realize that I had my magnet still on. So when I uh, threw my book through, it just came back to me and I didn't collect it. And now I actually have the proper one that has things like Gaia and stuff like that. And uh, let's do this. I still can't just type Gaia, really. Um, miscellaneous, is that where Gaia is gonna be? No, <laughs> I just can't win. Um, Alphamancy, maybe it's an Alphamancy. Ah, yeah, there we go. Ritual of Gaia, right? So basically we have to um, make these mana pylons, right? Which I think we've already made before, but then we've gotta be able to make a beacon. And I can't make a beacon just quite yet. That's what I've been checking on for the last couple minutes. Uh, making a beacon is not terribly difficult. As you can see, I've got some block of the smoky quartz here because I need to make uh, these smoky quartz slabs. But if we look at the beacon, um, the problem I'm running into is making this hardened lumium glass, right? Because block of mana diamond, that's simple. Uh, smoky quartz slab, I just showed you I got those. But the problem is I need obsidian dust or obsidian powder or pulverized obsidian. And to make obsidian dust or the powder, See, oh, 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 I can make pulverized obsidian. I can use, oh, never mind. We are doing this right now. Uh, obsidian, oh, jeez. How did I not notice that? So, yeah, so I was making that. And over here, I had already ma started making this glowstonic steel that I needed. And now I can just put it in my induction smelter, which is one of these guys. This guy? No, it's one of these guys. This one. There we go. You and you, and this will give me lumium glass. Perfect, I only needed five of those. And there was something else in the middle. What was the other thing I needed? Um, a beacon, see now I'm all kind of excited again because, oh, I need a block of mana. I keep going the wrong way. It's over on my right, not my left, okay. Uh, block of mana diamond, that's super simple. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. There we go. Oh, there we go. All right. It looks like we're going to be doing a Gaia battle. And I think I'm just going to do it floating in the air. I think that might be a kind of a fun way to do it. I don't know if it has to be on ground or not. If it does, we'll just put it in like a dirt ground. But I'm not sure if it does have to be like that or not. All right. So we've got the mana diamond. Block of mana diamond. Bingo, bango. So we should have everything now. And we've got our beacon. Cool. And then I know I need nine iron. Uh, blocks, which I've got tons and tons and tons of, except I just don't see them right now. 
Where's my block of iron? Well, let's just do it simple. I've got an entire chest full over here. All right, so one, two, three, four, five. Uh, I don't remember how many it is. Let me freaking just grab the stack. Okay, cool. And I've got my dirt wand if I need it. Let me grab some dirt just in case. I don't know what all I'm going to need. So uh, I'm going to put all the sand back. I'm going to go ahead and put the dev nulls back for right now. I don't need you anymore. I don't need you. <coughs> I'm just clearing out what I don't need here. I don't need you. Don't need you. You have got. You protect me from death. You're almost charged up. I'm going to take a couple of these just in case. Um, let's put you like right there. And one. Here we go. Definitely not going to die to the Gaia. That is for sure right there. I just uh, proved that. And, okay. And so I think I've got everything I need. And then I just click, oh, the mana pylons. That's that's what I was making. That's why I've got all this dust and the mana steel ingots on me. I was looking at the pylons. Um, mana pylon. There you go. I'm going to need four of these. That's just gold. Oh, I took the diamonds. Ha! That's why I had the four diamonds. I keep going the wrong way. We're going to get this done. We are so fighting the Gaia right now. Oh, I'm so excited right now. I, I am so pumped up for this because I've been... I, I'm just ready to make progress. I mean, that's really what it comes to. I'm ready to make progress. And this is about to happen. Bingo. Bingo like that. There's those four. And then these get upgraded to these guys right here. And that's those four right there. Let me grab an angel block. Actually, you know what? I don't need an angel block. I'm going to do this. Um, oh, there we go. Up Update. Ah, probably if I remember to follow the path of the book, where, where's my, there it is. I'm just going to do it over here. This is where we're going to make a little Gaia, Gaia, or not Gaia, but uh, Batania Island. I got that back, right? Cool. All right. So if I do this right, it's going to be right there, right there, 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 oh, there. Oh, you know what? I can visualize this. That's why I got the book on me. Visualize. Okay, cool. So there, there, and there. And let me just bring some dirt out here. <clears throat> and put the mana pylon like so. There we go. Oh, it's up one. Okay. Uh, magnets on. Good. Good. So you're up one. Okay, I can handle that. There we go. And... There we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish getting this set up. And then as soon as I'm done setting it up, we are going to take on the Gaia. And I don't know if I'm actually ready for this. Like, you know, uh, build wise and stuff like that. Like my armor. I mean, I got the Zaviku armor. I figure that's pretty beefy, isn't it? Zaviku armor is pretty good. And I've got my crossbow, which I don't think you can shoot the Gaia. I think that's part of the problem is you can't shoot the Gaia. And so that's not going to happen. Um, and put you there. Structure complete. Okay, cool. Let me... I wonder if I can do this flying. I really wonder. Let's see. I know there's... God, why do I keep going the wrong way? Um, where were they going? Oh, Terra Steel. I was going to get some Terra Steel. Oh, my one ingot. Perfect. So let us go tap this and see. I know to tell me. If it's not ready, I can't do it. Uh, as hard as you try, the beacon will not accept your sacrifice. You believe the ritual grounds might be improper. It might be a good idea to check for obstructions in the nearby area or large gap. Oh, gaps. Okay. So that's why. I oh, do I have my wand? Do I have my builder's wand on me? I do. Cool. Unbreakable wand. 64 blocks. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. Um, That's not what I wanted to do. I don't know if that one up is going to affect it or not. Let's just hope it doesn't. Okay, let's try it again. Nope, let's 
try to get rid of these. Maybe there's more to it. And I, I read through it quickly. Uh, but I didn't see anything that specified, like, not, you know, having to have any type of certain, like, you know, structure under it or anything like that. Oh. oh. There are no gaps in the floor. Okay, hold on. Where's the book? Gaia. Ritual of Gaia. Okay, the ritual required an active beacon and some Gaia pilots read on. One level above the beacon as the altar, as well as a single terrestrial ingot as a sacrifice. Got it. Uh, to start the ritual, simply shift right click the beacon with the terrestrial. Did it. Take a step back and prepare for your fight. I did. Um, the common attire for this guardian. Uh, difficult rewards bestowed. Uh, lastly, staying away from the purple might be a good idea. Nothing. Nothing to stay, say that it's not right. Um, maybe it has to be a bigger area. Oh, you know what? I think this is the one that has to be like a certain amount deep. I've done this before, so I think it has to be like four blocks deep. Um, I think that's what it is. I think it has to be four blocks deep. Maybe that was what it is. Okay, so that's like five blocks deep, so that should be good. And I don't know if it has to extend past, but nope. Okay. Um... I wonder if that bedrock ingot is causing a problem. I had, or bedrock, the bedrock ingot, the, the block of bedrock. I wonder if that's part of the problem. I don't know. Um, let me try some dirt, some die art, some dirt. I'll just make sure I have plenty on me to make this thing plenty big. All right, so we got four paths. So that's that level right there. So one, one, two, three, four. For some reason, the number four is sticking in my head. So I'm thinking that might be part of it. Did I use all my, my goodness. How much dirt do I need? I'll just fill up my inventory here. So let me empty everything I don't need right now. Um, I don't need the portal. I'll go back and then get that. I don't need the mana. I don't need the iron anymore. The dirt I do, that's kind of what I'm doing right now. Um, food, I should be okay, Terry. Yeah, okay, everything else I need. So let's just take enough dirt to make this plenty big. All right, you're good on that side. This side is incomplete over here. How many was that? That's four past, yes. So one, two, three, four. And <clears throat> this looks like a good platform. I think this should work. Oh my God. I wish it would tell me. Good idea to check for obstructions on the nearby area or large gaps. All right, I'm gonna keep working this until I get it. And hopefully that'll be soon. So I'll be back in just a moment once I figure out what the total issue is. So we'll be right back. All right, guys. So I've expanded it out. It's like eight past each one of these pylons. This has got to be it. Still not working. What is this over here? So there's these little stars that are popping up. I don't know what these little stars are about. Like, I don't, I don't get it. What has to be right there? See, okay. Oh, you know what? I think what it's doing, it's showing me the outline of what it has to be. That's what I'm thinking, I'm hoping. So I don't need to do the corners anymore. Oh, I've got more compressed on me, so. Ha, ah, I started carrying compressed dirt on me. All right, so that should be good. See, it was like right at this edge. So I'm hoping that should be good. Let's see. Yes, that's it. Okay, cool. Where's my other sword? There's my other sword. Okay, so can I shoot you first of all? 
It looks like I cannot shoot him. Oh, that does pretty good damage, though. Is he doing... He's not really doing too much to me. But I can tell. Okay, so this is going to take a minute. But... It doesn't look like... I, there's like a delay in the damage. Hey, come on. Get off the pylon. Okay, I'm not going to get you now, but I'll get you now. Let me see... Can I hit you with this? Does that do any good? I mean, you yeah, may not be able to shoot the bow, but... Oh. That nah, doesn't seem to... Oh yeah, actually, let's take it a decent chunk. So maybe I'm still getting my 136 damage and swinging this thing. No. Seems to about to do as much damage as the sword. Okay, so this isn't a bad battle. I love the fact that there's like the rock music to this. That's just kind of fun. I really, really appreciate that aspect. Hey. Oh, can I not fly? I can't fly. I also can't tell if I'm taking damage because I'm like constantly withered. Oh, man, why do you keep going all the way to the other side? Oh, we're almost done. We've almost got it. We've almost got it. Okay, this is where he goes up in the air. Okay, this is where my bow's going to come in handy because you're going to start dropping mobs in the sun. Not good for them. Not good at all for them. Ooh, witness skeleton. Huh? What you dropping on me? Witness skeleton? Alright, I've almost got to death. This isn't... They're not a hard battle. I'm wondering if I can, like, make a little shelter for myself and just kind of stay in it. And it'll come to me if I don't go to him. I wonder. But at least once I get the Gaia done, I should be able to do Gaia too, so that maybe we can do the next episode. Because I know some of the stuff on Bravo, or Beta, whatever it is. Alpha, Beta, yeah, bra uh, Beta. I know a lot of that stuff is uh, going to be stuff that I need. Uh, or uh, stuff for uh, Batania. Got him. All right, cool. We got what we needed. Um, let me get rid of the dirt. There's our Gaia. I don't need the coal. Okay. I think I picked up pretty much everything from the fight. Get some experience over here. Go ahead and turn off you. Just to see if it's all garbage. It is all garbage. Cool. So we have defeated the Gaia. That was not too bad. Now, while we're here, just, just because we're looking at stuff, let me see the Gaia 2 and see if that's much harder. Gaia 2, um, creating a Gaia Spirit Ingot. Wait, hold on, what? So, one would think they could buy in two of the most powerful resources known to existence in the form of Terra Steel and Gaia Spirits would create an unstoppable material. It seems that the material is very much stoppable, though. In fact, the two forces cancel each other out when combined into an ingot created by an utterly useless alloy. Um, so for all of this, it also drops more Gaia Spirits than normal. Okay, so the Gaia 2, which is obviously somebody a stronger Gaia Guardian with more resistance, strength, and speed. Um, I, I don't know, you guys, it, this, this episode is getting kind of long, but do we, do we just jump in and do the Gaia? Um, do I take this and make two Terra Steel ingots? Or two, uh... I think we're going to do it. I'm going to go ahead and make up some two Terra Steel ingots. I'm going to make a little shed for myself over here to kind of protect myself. We're going to see how this works. We'll be right back in just a minute. All right, guys. So the Terra Steel is made, and we're going to go ahead and make two of these up like so. Because if I can do that, then we can make the compressed guy. Oh, yeah, we can make that compressed Gaia spirit. And Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, Gaia Garden 2 updated. Okay. So let's hop in here. I made a little shed, right? So basically, if he tries to come behind, it won't really work, but let's see it. Oh, it started. Awesome. Okay, where are you at, homie? Are you up there? Yes, you are. So I'm going to get my first shot on you right off the bat. Come on, come land. Come on, where are you at? Are you still above me? Oh, oh. Come on, dude. Come on. He's like launching stuff at me. Uh, let me get my food here. Ooh. 
He doesn't seem to want to come to me. Alright, let's just go chase him. I know you're faster. Alright, I just I wish I had a better weapon. I really wish I had a better weapon. It looks like is he wearing my skin? Is, oh, he just went off the edge. Okay, now this now this block here is just in the way. This is just in the way now. Where you at? Oh, there you are. You're gonna move. I'm not gonna get you in time. Uh, you're up there. Mm -hmm. Oh, crit. Oh, crit. Oh, yeah, crit. Where'd you go? There you are. I can't sprint. I, I, I guess I need, like, some swiftness potions or something, because I can't sprint. But, hey, we're doing this. We're doing this. All right, at this point, I'm just going to fast forward the battle, and uh, we'll come back as soon as the battle's over. Is this... Alright guys, so we did it. That's 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 it, we did it. Um let me go ahead and throw some of this other stuff out. Cause I just the will of Kareel. We'll have to check that out. I don't need any sugar or gunpowder. I want to make sure we get everything that he dropped. Oh, you know what? Let me turn my magnet on. Just pull it all in. Alright, cool. So let's clean our stuff out. Oh, you know what? I want that wither bone. I haven't gotten a lot of wither bones and um, overgrowth seed. That's cool. Venancy, I don't need. Don't need loot bags. Legendary loot bags are cool and all, but I don't need them. Sugar, redstone, arrows, gunpowder, bone, glowstone, coal, necrotic. I do want that. Um, dice of fate. I don't know what that is. We'll check that out. Music disc. I like to hold on to those. Oh, rotten flesh. I don't need. Rare loot bags. Uncommon stick, carrot, menincio, and I think I'm doing the cycle now. So I think I got all the good stuff. Okay, cool. So let me turn you off real quick and just leave all that stuff here. And let's see how many we got. We got where's the Gaia? We got 16 Gaia. Okay, so we get twice as much from the battle, but then I've got to spend four just to make the next ingot. But that'll give me 32, which will get us going in the right direction. Um, craft with the Terra Steel helmet to add the following effect. Uh, critical hits apply a wither effect. Oh, that's kind of cool. And what is this? Um, relic soulbound to slider. Uh, he deals the card to find the answer. The sacred gem is going into the hidden laws of the problem. I'm gonna have to look into that. I'm gonna look into that. But I think today was definitely now a very successful episode. A lot longer than I had intended on doing, but I'm totally cool with it. It was a lot of fun, and we just knocked out like some major stuff. So let me clear out my inventory real quick. Um, this goes in here. We'll put that, that, that. I'm just going to throw all the stuff that... I'm going to hold on to that for a minute. Um, that I don't need at the moment. Let me put my book back up here real quick. And I'll go put my sword for Guy. I'll probably put it up there. I'm, I'm thinking there is a way to protect yourself. I remember a long time ago. Maybe it's water. Maybe if I fill the surface with water. Because then the Gaia just sits on this. I remember doing it before. And I'm, I'm going to test that out. Um, but yeah. So we're going to look into that. And uh, have some fun. And there was something else I was going to do right now. Why was I clearing out my inventory? I was clearing out my inventory for a reason. Oh, yes, because we're about to go collect quests that we haven't uh, collected so far. So there we go. So we got some Gaia. I'm going to continue to get a whole bunch uh, in between this episode and next just to kind of stockpile on it. I'm going to put those in there. And we're going to go 
check out our book and see what else we've accomplished and where else we should be heading really, really soon. So I was looking at some other stuff. So alpha is officially complete. Most important part, alpha is complete. Now beta, we did some stuff. We did the Gaia Guardian 1 and 2. So we can go ahead and collect a loot chest for that. And now we just have to get the Ring of Odin. And that's probably... Crap. Well, let's, let's see what that is. Um, while, while we're here, of Odin. There it is. How do we get the Ring of Odin? Can't be crafted. Uh, equipable in the ring slot. Press B for the baubles. Relic unbound. Um, let's... I got two hearts. Let's let's add them to our lives. Bing bing, up to nine. Okay, let's let's just see. I mean, it let us know where we're going on next episode. That's pretty much it. Uh, Ring of Odin. Um, Odin. Wait, hold on. You went back too far. Odin. It's from Batania. I just just brought it up. Um, I maybe it's oh you know what maybe it's a drop like that other thing that I got the um, that green thing I didn't know what it was maybe that's what it is I'll, I'll look into it I'll look into it but what else do we have um so we've got all that this one we're now closer okay we're now closer to us to make this a master infusion stone we need uh nine technically I can make four right now and I have one. So it's just going to take a couple fights and we'll be able to make that Master Infusion Stone, which means we'll start being able to make the uh, Temporeo, which would be cool. Uh, oh, we didn't claim this from the last time. Lantern of something. I don't know. Uh, we'll check that out in just a second. All right, cool. And what is this? A quarry upgrade. Uh, you want all these upgrades, huh? Well, we'll look at that. Fortune 3 upgrade. Yeah, I mean, that all makes sense. That all makes sense. And anything over here? nothing there i know i've seen a, a couple things you know go off while i've been doing other stuff and so i kind of want to ah here we go like i just made this grinder a minute ago um and when i was trying to make some stuff with uh obsidian so that's where that came from i just did that a second ago uh mangaloy this came from right before i started re-recording um i had seen i think i told you guys that i, th I when i came back on my crafting recipes had changed and i thought it was because uh, I, you know, an update or whatever. And it turned out just because I wasn't, uh, updated or not updated, but, uh, it had switched me back to Kappa mode. And so I'd made some, uh, Mangaloy, uh, which by the way, the recipe was the same. So I didn't cheat that one. Um, but I got that. I did check on that. Uh, Ooh, here we go. Uh, Desh. Oh yeah. Look at all these. These are all the <laughs> rockets that I haven't claimed and stuff. All right. Tier three rocket. We've got you. Tier four rocket. We've got you. So tier five. So all the rest of the rockets, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Tier nine rocket on its way. Uh, Theta was the one I was just looking at. Yep. And I don't have any others open. So still got quite a few loot chests to open up real quick. What is this? Sojourn staff. Um, what does it do? It's on. I wonder if that's anything like the Sojourn stuff from uh, Batania. I don't remember. Do I have baubles on? Yes, I do. I've got that and speed belt. Oh, that's right. I made that speed belt. And that gives me jump boost and night vision. Yeah, okay. So I'm, ass I'm assuming it's probably in the same realm of things. What is this lantern about? Places torches in unlit areas automatically. Shift right click to activate. <gasps> that's really cool. Okay. Let us... Uh, let's just start opening chests. This, see this red matter stuff. I, if anything, it's got a high EMC. So that's cool. Um, that'd be cool. Let's see. A zombie generator. That's rare, apparently. Um, lubricant bedrockium drum. Wow. That thing is full. They're starting to get cool. Electric chainsaw. That's cool. I'm starting to get some fun new stuff. Fleet and Stone, I've already got one of those. Um, we're starting to get some cool stuff. Flux Infused Hammer, I've got one of those. Meteor Compass, I've definitely had plenty of those. And some Chance Cubes. Well, guys, I 
I hope you're enjoying it. I truly, truly do. I know I say it all the time, but it really does come from my heart. Like, I really hope you guys are enjoying this stuff because I am having an absolute blast and I'm so glad to be back at it. It's just, you know, it, it was, it's been far too long, far, far, far too long. So if you guys are enjoying the series, please don't hesitate to hit that thumbs up and any comments, questions or concerns or things that you think I should probably kind of uh, start thinking about for, well, obviously not the next episode because I'll probably already be recording it um, by the time I see your comments, but at least, you know, stuff coming up of directions I should be heading and things I should be doing. I have to clean that mass that it's going to bother me so much. I'm going to go make a pretty little Batania Island right after I stop recording right now. That's, that's what this is going to become. Um, but yeah, any comments of things maybe I should be looking at heading into directions I should be trying, you know, stuff like that, please put it down in the comments because you know, I love you guys' comments. I really do. And if you notice, I pretty much respond to them whenever I can. So um, until next time, travelers, y'all know the deal. I am Slatter Havoc, and I'm out of here. Peace.